Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're looking at home lengths 112, that's unit 1, lesson 12. Uh, angles and quadrilaterals. Um, let's take a look at the first couple of problems. Number one says draw two examples of a rectangle. So I am going to use the, uh, the grids provided to help me uh, draw my, uh, my polygon. So I can start right here just to make a small rectangle that is three squares uh, wide by two squares high. Here I can draw another one that is only one square high, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, squares wide as well. Both of these are rectangles because rectangles are polygons that have two pairs of parallel sides and uh, four right angles. Here's another rectangle for you. Now some of you might be looking at this and saying, Mr. Wassman, that's a square. And technically, yes, that's true. But a square is a type of rectangle. The definition of a rectangle is a uh, polygon with four sides with two pairs of parallel lines and four right angles. A square meets all those criteria. It's just like when uh, scientists define an animal and classify them. Um, dogs are mammals. Uh, cats are mammals because they both share certain qualities like uh, being covered in fur and being warm-blooded and breathing air. Um, all cats are mammals, not all mammals are cats. So let's take a look at problem number two. It says draw two examples of a right triangle. So again, I want to create a triangle that has at least one right angle. That's where the, the name right triangle comes from. It's got a right angle. So here I can draw one that is basically half of a square that is two squares tall by two squares wide and it has a right angle right here. See it makes up a right corner. Now I could draw another right angle and I could start it being two uh, squares tall but then I could extend it make it longer like so and as long as it has that right angle right there then we have a right triangle so when we take a look at question number three how are the shapes and problems one and two similar how are they different we're just comparing and contrasting. Uh, we can use some uh, descriptors like, oh, they are both polygons uh, made up of closed shapes with uh, line segments as sides. Uh, they have at least one right angle to them each. Uh, some of their differences, of course, are some shapes have three sides, some shapes have four. So there's any number of ways that you could compare and contrast these uh, geometric shapes. Uh, problems four and five uh, ask you to describe uh, angles that you've drawn. And it says, number four, draw right angle D, E, F. Okay, so I'm going to draw a right angle angle just like I did with the right triangle in number two. This time I'm going to make my right angle uh, oriented a different way. And again, it's a right angle because one of the corners is square, 90 degrees. Now, to make this angle DEF, I've just got to label it uh, the, some points on it. So I'll put a point here, here, and here. And 
what makes angle DEF DEF is that I'm going to make E the vertex, like so. Now, another a, a name for DEF would be just the reversal of those uh, points. Instead of saying DEF, I could just call this angle angle FED. Is I could start here and follow the path of the uh, letters this way, DEF. Or I could start at F and follow the path of the, the points the other way. And of course, the vertex is always going to be E. And then number five says draw an angle that is larger than a right angle. So you have to ask yourself, what is larger than a 90 degree angle and it says label the vertex K. Well as long as you make it 91 degrees or larger uh, you would have an angle that is larger than a right angle. So there's a couple ways you could do that. You could draw an obtuse angle something like this that goes beyond 90 degrees. We're going to label that K right there. We'll say JKI. Or I could draw a straight angle, which is essentially a line or a line segment. A straight angle is 180 degrees. Right there, or I could create an angle that looks like this, and to all appearances, it looks like an acute angle. But when I label the arc of the angle, instead of putting it in here, I would take my angle and I would arc it around. So this indicates that I am talking about the outside of uh, these two rays which makes this a reflex angle. A reflex angle is going to be a, the measure of an angle that is more than 180 degrees. If you have questions about this homework please feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Um, Please take the time to try the practice problems down here because subtraction is part of our unit and as we are getting close to uh, the end of this unit you will know that there's going to be a unit test involved and you will be uh, uh, tested on all the skills that we've covered so far. That includes subtraction. So um, have a good day friends. Thanks.